Lesson four: Touch and Go. Set up XFoil to the full foil configuration. Enter the setup screen on the remote and configure the user settings to Mode Foil Novice, Peak Power 50%, Acceleration Curve Early, Medium, Late, High, and Safety On. Accelerate gently up to plane speed. In the full foil configuration, the nose will rise very quickly. It's important to keep the nose down until you've reached plane speed. Then stand up and find your balance to keep the board level and planing. This illustrates the effect of the motor with the long foil mast. It acts like a long lever torquing the board's nose upwards. As a result, accelerate slowly keeping the nose down by applying pressure to the front of the board. Give it time for the board to build speed before standing up. The biggest common mistake is not anticipating the motor's thrust and the nose pitches aggressively upwards. Once you're standing up and planing, keep your thrust power consistent and practice shifting your weight slightly backwards to lift the board up from the water and slightly forwards to land the board back on the surface of the water. Keep your movement small and practice lifting the board in only about an inch from the surface of the water, then land it back down. Congratulations, you've taken flight for the first time. Take time to feel how the board reacts when you're taking off and landing. As you practice these touch and go maneuvers, you'll get better and better at keeping the board lifted for longer and longer periods of time. Keep your stance wide with one foot forward, one foot backwards for better pitch control. Keep your stance wide with one foot right and one foot left for better roll control. Find your balance and train your muscles to make micro movements because when X foil is in flight, only small micro movements are necessary to control the board. Spend time perfecting touch and go, keeping your altitude only a few inches from the water. Once you've perfected these maneuvers, progress to the next lesson, full flight.